everybody. Welcome into Talking Fitchburg on this Monday, November 22nd, 2021. Turkey Week here on Talking Fitchburg and across this great land we call America. How y'all doing? I'm Jeremy Crosby. And Andrew, he's in Turkey Heaven, or we call it the director's booth, whichever. Turkey Heaven sounds a lot better. Well, actually, probably doesn't sound good. Turkey Oven <laughs> does also doesn't that does not sound good either. He's in the brine. <laughs> Soaking it up. Okay. I got nothing. Soaking it in. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Uh, we've got a great show for you. We're just gonna just gonna just leave that off to the side. Uh wait, hey, Andrew, maybe every day this week we should ask Andrew, like, what's it, it, you know, is this an inner and out thing for turkey dinner? So uh yeah, today's question, uh cranberries, in or out. Andrew says out. Of course course andrew doesn't like anything so and since he can't defend himself on the show today i'm gonna i'm gonna defend him and say he doesn't like anything so all right so we already uh he's already tossed out uh, cranberries but uh well that's all right i say in so there you go um uh, yes busy show we'll get you the headlines here coming up and then uh, this week all this week we're gonna be talking about shopping safety uh as uh well you probably already started some shopping uh if you're uh if you wanted to get to make sure you got your stuff in if you're ordering online, but if you're hitting the stores or whatever you're doing, we're going to keep you safe. And uh, today we're going to talk about Black Friday uh, sales and make sure uh, you don't get uh, scammed out and consider, you got to consider everything before you hit the uh, the stores uh, for those Black Friday sales or online, whichever you prefer. And shop uh, small on a small business Saturday. We're going to talk about that today with our friends uh, from Dane by Local. Colin will be here uh, to share that as they're kicking off a cool uh, campaign as well. Uh, but Small Business Saturday is so important. And we'll talk about that with Colin coming up. Headlines. Alternate side parking restrictions begin. It's so cold out there. This just makes me think of alternate side parking. Well, whether it does or doesn't, it's in effect. So <laughs> here we go. November 15th through March 15th. Yes, it's in. So on the even days from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m., you park on the even side. If it's an odd day, you park on the odd side from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. So before you go to bed, so, you know, but today, I was just looking at my watch. Today's the 22nd. So, tomorrow, it's going to be starting at 1 a.m. Andrew? Odd. Just like he tells me every day, I'm odd. Odd day, 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. You got to be on the odd side. It'll be even on Wednesday. All right, moving forward here. Uh, we've got uh, this uh, city hall uh, will be closed uh, for the holidays, uh, and we want to make sure you know that. So it'll be closed on Thursday, November 25th, and Friday, November 26th, City Hall Community Center Senior Center. And the Fitchburg Public Library will be closing on the 24th at 5 p.m., and then will be closed through November 26th. You can find all the information on the websites, both for City Hall uh, and the library, fitchburgwi.gov. All right, talking about getting your car ready uh, as uh, things get colder and we see the snow uh, pile up. We want to make sure that you have your safety kit after it was Winter Weather Awareness Week. So jumping back on a few of those items, make sure you got jumper cables, flashlight, battery, cell phone charger, blanket, hot, uh, I almost said hot gloves. <laughs> you should have some hot gloves for sure. Hat and gloves, snacks, first aid kit, kitty litter or sand, snow shovel, and Andrew says bring a microwave as well so you can warm up those hot pockets. All right, did you know everyone ages five years and older are recommended to get a, a vaccinated against COVID-19? This came in late on Friday, uh, and uh, yes, you can uh, you can do that. So uh, it says here, use the chart to determine which COVID vaccines are available, depending on the person's age. And uh, for right now, as far as uh, the youngest, five years of age, I believe the only one is uh, Pfizer at this time. Uh, as the other two are still going through the process. We'll keep you up to date on that on the show. And uh, talking about other diseases as well that might be caused uh, by viruses, I uh, wanted to share this with you as well. And you can take a look here uh, that uh, did you know uh, that there are four different types of viruses out there? And how do you say that virus, Andrew? You got any clue on that one? Dengue? Yeah, I go with Dengue. Uh, either way, these four uh, viruses can make you sick up to four times in your life. There are different uh, different types there. So you probably have all had this, but you can learn more about this uh, either way. And it says uh, caused by any of the four of these types, people can uh, get uh, this uh, up to four times uh, in their life. A second infection is more likely to cause severe illness, uh, 
requiring hospitalizations. You can learn more about these Dungy. We're just going to call them Dungies. Uh, and uh, that's uh, through, we'll share as we do all of our links for headlines. So you can check that out. All right, that does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up our digest. We'll be talking about Small Business Saturday. It's coming up really fast and why you should shop local this year. Thanks right here on Talking Pitchburg. Severe weather can strike anytime, anywhere, but there's a simple way to stay safe. Hey, Jim Cantori here. I stay safe in dangerous weather by planning ahead. You can stay safe too with a few easy steps. Build an inexpensive kit with supplies for your family's needs. Write down important information like phone numbers and medications. Always talk with your family and remember any pets in your planning. Be ready, be safe. Start your plan today at ready.gov plan. Hey, boss. Okay. You said I'm fine. Hey, son. Hey, Bob. You know you can talk to me. Hello, everybody. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me today, our friend from Dane by Local, Colin. He's back. Colin, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm back. Thank you for having me, Jeremy. Appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, we are going into uh, the best time of year or the worst time of year, depending uh, how you look at it. But uh, one of my favorite times of year is uh, is doing a little shopping. And I can't think of a better resource than talking with Dame by Local as uh, we get into the week and really thinking about shopping local. And, and I would pledge that maybe to shop local even before the famous uh, Saturday Shop Local event. But overall, from a Dame by Local's perspective, it's in the, it's in the name. <laughs> uh, what, what do you guys have uh, in store for uh, shopping local this year? Uh, or getting people to shop local. Yeah, so there's all sorts of different things that are taking place. Of course, the big one that everyone knows about is uh, uh, Small Business Saturday, right? Uh, that's uh, nationally provided and supported by the American Express. But we do uh, a version of that here in Dane County. Um, this year, that is uh, presented by the Bank of Sun Prairie uh, that's helping to support that. Uh, so we appreciate that support but it's really a way to bring attention to all of the local businesses, these small businesses, these entrepreneurs that are trying to make a living, trying to survive. And you know, in the, in the uh, stream of things, they're making it a unique place for us to live here in Dane County. So rather be in Fitchburg or anywhere else, you know, these are the uh, backbone of, of these communities, these small local businesses. And so, Small Business Saturday is a great way to uh, focus on that. And this is now the 12th year of this taking place of Small Business Saturday. Um, and, and they've done a little research now as far as the impact that Small Business Saturday is having. So I thought it was kind of interesting, some of the things that they found out, um, especially comparing it to a pandemic. You, know, you would think, well, maybe things slowed down, but it didn't, it actually increased. So uh, the research that they did based on last year is that uh, it's estimated that $19.6 billion was spent on Small Business Saturday this, year, uh, this past year in 2020, and that compares to 19.6 the year before. So there was an increase, not a huge increase, but again, we were in a pandemic, you know, so <laughs> any increase is good, right? Um, they also found that 97% of the shoppers out there uh, recognize the importance of shopping locally, supporting these small businesses, and they encourage their friends to do the same. So that's, that's really the message that we have today is support these small businesses and encourage your friends to do the same thing. Uh, get out there and, and really support these different uh, organizations that are uh, trying desperately to survive right now. Yeah, it, it almost is a, a happy accident, if you will. When COVID hit, 
we were said to stay home, stay close by, you know, try to keep your circle small. And, and what it made me do in the, the city that I live in, I wish I lived in Fitchburg, but I don't. Uh, but it, it, it helped me actually find some places I had never been to before because I wanted to keep it small. I wanted to still support and, and, and based on the information you heard, but, but from what you've heard from the businesses throughout the pandemic, did you hear these, do you hear people say the same type of story? Like, wow, I, I didn't know I had that in my backyard where I might've picked it up uh, from a, a box store or from an easy, you know, online consumer. Um, is that kind of the message that, that you're hearing? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, just recognizing stumbling across these businesses that are out there. And we're trying to help with that as well. So we do have a directory on our website that you can go to and you can look up uh, whatever way you want to try to search out uh, various items that you're looking for, uh, whether it be gift shops or restaurants or or any other retail sort of things. Uh, so you can find those on our website, danebylocal.com and just go into the directory there. Um, but there's also the option now that a lot of these local businesses have to shop online. So if uh, you're not able to or don't still feel comfortable going into uh, a crowded situation, uh, go to their websites. And we did a specific uh, area, we call it Marketplace on our website, that you can go to that list just the members that have online shopping. So not a lot of the businesses, unfortunately, don't have that option, but a lot of the retailers now have gotten up to speed in the last year or two. Um, and so they do have that opportunity. So you can go on Marketplace and it lists all the various businesses that are uh, providing that online shopping option, uh, have it delivered right to your door. You can do the pickup, whatever you want, uh, depending upon the, uh, particular business. So the, the retailers are really stepping up and trying to make this work for everybody. Uh, Colin, it, it, and I've talked to you about this in the past, so uh, I, kn I know the answer to this, but uh, to reinforce why why should somebody really care that they're buying local? Why? I mean, we know that it's family businesses. We know it's people you know, the American dream to start that business and go, but, but why is it so important that those dollars stay local and not go outside of the area? How does it help the people where they live? Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's really what it's all about. What's in it for me. Right. Um, so I, we, we understand that and, you know, there's a number of reasons. Uh, one of them is that it makes for unique communities. There is no other Fitchburg in the world. Right. Uh, and it's because of the local businesses that uh, create that. It's nice that we have a target here. You know, it sounds like there's a Meyer store that's going to be showing up. Those are those are nice features uh, for Fitchburg, but they don't make it unique because you can go to Target anywhere. You can go to Mark, uh, the Meyer store in Milwaukee or whatever. Uh, it, it's the local businesses that you're not going to find anywhere else. That's what makes it unique here. But beyond that, too, it's also circulating those dollars by keeping them with the local businesses, it circulates about three times more before it gets pulled out of the local economy. And that helps with property taxes and other taxes out there. So, you know, it, it indirectly benefits all of us. And sometimes it's hard to see that long-term benefit, but it is there. Uh, and there's been lots of research that's been done on that. And it, it always comes back, uh, uh, to show that if you spend it, uh, a dollar at a local business, it circulates three more times before uh, it typically will re uh, leave the community. Yeah, you, you don't think about necessarily when you do go to these places that they're invested in their location, they're paying rent, they're paying for the property taxes. Uh, and then you're right, the uniqueness to any, uh, any city, it just, uh, it's fun to have those uh, local places in there. Colin, if people want to learn more, there's a passport with the specific uh, related to uh, the small or the, the special event you guys are doing uh, with your uh, piece. But if people want to learn more about uh, uh, finding local businesses uh, through the holidays, uh, Dame by Local has got it all. Yeah, we try to. You mentioned about the passport. That's another feature that we've put together this year. You can download that off our website and go shop at those places. Spend 10 bucks, send me the receipt, and we'll put you in for a drawing. Uh, and we've got lots of prizes we're giving away every week uh, through the holidays. So you can participate with that. Just go to Dane by local. Dot com. Remember, buy is B-U-I. So danebylocal.com, and you'll find a wealth of information there. 
supporting local businesses. Colin, thank you so much as always. Uh, we got you kind of last minute, so we appreciate your time and uh, we'll look forward to talking to you hopefully uh, through the holiday season. Great, terrific, thank you. You bet, uh, Colin from Dane by Locally. So check out the website uh, and uh, find those local businesses. They're out there for you and uh, ready to serve you this holiday season. We'll take a quick break. More to come, you're watching Talking Pittsburgh. You could be spreading the coronavirus without realizing you have it. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and do your part. It's important to limit in-person interaction with anyone outside of your immediate household, but phone and video chat are safe ways to connect. It's also important to limit any social gathering. This advice applies to people of any age, including teens and younger adults. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. After you joined our family, it was like, I really do feel complete now. Our hearts are made stronger by how we treat others. Put her there. The light you share can impact those around you, but so can the darkness. Later, twerps. Did Pete saying mean things bother you? So when you reach out to another person, <laughs> take a moment to consider how they will feel and let your heart be the key to making a difference. Because of you, someone's entire day, year, or even life can change. In every heart, there's hope. We're all just trying to keep things running for those who rely on us. That's why we don't have time to be sick with the flu. We don't have time for delays. Ready! We don't have time for spills. Next. We don't have time for setbacks. Let's be real. Getting the flu shot? Helps you fight the flu. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you too. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Join me today. This is the segment, folks. This is the one you've been waiting for. It's the one I've been waiting for. It's Tiffany Schultz, Better Business Bureau. Tiffany, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here on a drum roll. How to shop Black Friday sales. That's right. If there was music right now, it would kick in, and we would say, Tiffany, uh, your previous life, you did a lot of work with retail, uh, so maybe you dread this day, but uh, you also know uh, great uh, tips as well. Also, we really want to protect you in this because there's so many moving parts um, with Black Friday, although it seems like Black Friday's turned into like every day of the year. I love the middle of like June. We got Black Friday coming. I'm like, what? Dude, you're, you're overusing it. Uh, but uh, either way, uh, it's a busy day, right? Black Friday may be a little bit different this year than you've seen in years past. We've seen those deals always coming earlier and earlier on Black Friday. Remember the days when retail opened at 4 a.m.? I think there was even a 3 a.m. open. Well, now you're not only getting the deals that early, you can get them online, but you can get them starting in early November, which is just crazy. So the retailers want you to buy the hot items and the items you need and the items that you don't need. So they're making them readily available. It might be a little bit more difficult to get some items this year because of the microchip shortage, but we have a whole list of some great tips as you make your plan and head out shopping. All right. Well, if you are brave enough to take this journey with us, uh, the first one is safety protocols uh, with mask guidelines. We know Dane County just extended theirs uh, through the end of uh, November, so Public Health of Mass in Dane County extended that mask order. But overall, how can we stay safe? Well, if you are out shopping, you're going to want to take a mask with you, especially in Dane County. You're going to need it. Uh, you know, follow all of those CDC guidelines, anything that's recommended by public health. There's going to be a lot of people out there shopping that day, so it's best to stay safe. Uh, not only public health ways um, wise, but also if you're out in the evening hours, maybe the really early morning hours before the sun comes up, know your surroundings, know where you're parking. Parking in a lit parking lot, uh, not a dark parking lot where maybe the light have gone out and always shop with a buddy. Absolutely. Uh, making the most of the deals, which I think this is the hardest part, the fun part and everything else in between. But uh, how do we uh, how do you approach that? Uh, and this year, again, might be a little unique to the past, but uh, how do you how do you navigate that? 
make a list of the deals and who has what. Multiple stores may have the same thing. Maybe the price is a little bit different, but know who has what before you go. And quantities may be limited too. So you may get to store A and that product could be gone where you have to go to uh, store B to go get it. Uh, some retailers will have early operating hours just for those doorbuster deals. So really put everything in place, what you're going to get, where you're going to go and get it so you can be efficient while you're out shopping and you can grab those deals that you want. I like hearing you say set a budget. I don't know that uh, that's tough. Like how do you say, well, I know the regular retail price, so I want to get it here. But uh, when you're budgeting for these things, how do you approach that? Set a budget and stick to it. Are you out shopping for yourself or are you out gift shopping? Two different things. If you're out shopping for others, you probably have a bigger budget or maybe a more set budget. If you're out there for yourself, don't just pick something up because it looks cheap and it's a really good price. If you don't need it, really think about, do, you, do I really need it? Do I really need to spend the money on this? So, you know, that's so important to think about, am I shopping for myself or am I shopping for somebody I'm going to give a gift to? So many consumers out there shop Black Friday for themselves, more so than gift giving reasons. Well, like, it's hard not to. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I have to defend everybody that, like me who's doing that. But, um, yeah, you got to definitely uh, set some limits uh, <laughs> uh, on, on either side of that. Uh, reading the fine print, I think this is the next toughest part of doing this. You already said that the you know quantities may be limited, but what are other things we need to watch out for in that fine print? Warranty information. Is the warranty covered by the manufacturer or is it covered by the store? What's the return policy on that? How many days do you have to return it? Uh, is the price available uh, all the time? Is it available during certain hours only? Is there a rebate that you have to send in? All of that fine print will be there for you to read. And, you know, nobody likes reading six-point font, but it's so important. And then some items are excluded on deals, too. So let's say the store is a certain percentage off, but it excludes all of these brands. You're going to want to know that before you go. Yeah, and I think another one that's, and uh, I was telling you before we started this today that uh, I have I try to check the ads out early. Hey, I want to get an early start. I'm also curious about how the things are going to go this year, uh, given the shortages on uh, some of the our favorite items items are looking for but you you definitely see a lot of them say that you can get it online or in store but there is fine print to those seriously they are very deceptive there's fine print and it might be a certain price online maybe a little bit cheaper but then you have to pay for shipping which makes it more expensive to get to to your home are you going to ship the store so a lot of those things can be ironed out if you just read that fine print Fantastic. Uh, next one, uh, plan your day. I never do this. <laughs> Take me to the deals. That's where my plan is. Different retailers are going to open at different times. Some items may just be available online. So know where you're going to go. Make your plan. You're going to start here at 6 a.m. You want to be to the next store by 8 a.m. Uh, maybe a deal only goes till noon at the next store. So really make your plan. Also, know where you're going to park, too. Uh, you know, <laughs> Black Friday shopping is completely different oh, than any yeah. other time of the year. So your favorite parking spot or maybe you park by a certain store at the mall, that may not be available. So really scope out your plan and scope out your route. GPS All right. is a great thing, too. Two pro tips here. First off, <laughs> drop a vehicle off if you can ahead of time. Just saying, pro tip number one. Pro tip number two, when you get to the store, check with the, the manager if they're outside and there's a long line and say, did the big ticket items, did you hand out cards for them? I'll tell you how disappointing that is if you are in line and you're like, those were already gone before you even got in line. There may be only a quantity of five of those high ticket items. So that's a great tip. Don't wait in line. Go ahead and ask before you go ahead and spend hours in line for that store to open for the first five people to get the ticket. And uh, third pro tip, ask the person that's in the front of the line, why? Why'd you do it? <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. Um, uh, signing up for uh, email alerts, uh, definitely a plus too in uh, this great shopping time. Retailers are going to share their Black Friday ads early to their exclusive sub subscribers. They're also going to give you exclusive deals and discounts if you're an email subscriber. Uh, if you don't want their emails after the holiday season, you can go ahead and unsubscribe, but it's a great way to get additional de 
deals in addition to what's already advertised out there. And uh, doing your research, you kind of talked about this before, but if you see that item, so I'm going to use air fryer as an example. There are like 200 different brands of air fryers, but uh, how do you really know, you know, it's one's like $20 and most of them are 120 There's probably something going on there. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Do your homework. It could be a different brand. Uh, you know, it may have different parts in it. Uh, you know, a completely different product. What does the $20 item do compared to the $150 item? But something like an air fryer that's being offered for $20, that should be a bright red flag that that's either a scam website or it's a counterfeit product or possibly they're just out to steal your personal information. Absolutely. All right, let's get to the returns because uh, that's everybody's favorite time. Not really, but uh, <laughs> uh, important uh, not only on the shopping end of things, but uh, when you do make that return, what uh, suggestions do you have? Go ahead and make sure that you have your gift receipt. If you don't have your gift receipt, your regular receipt, some of the retailers are going to require an ID for purchasing. There's going to be a return window for those gift returns. So, um, and when in doubt, uh, you know, you may have to go back to the gift giver and ask for that information if you don't have that gift receipt or the original receipt. But hopefully being prepared will make a hassle-free return in the end. Absolutely, and definitely check those dates, especially if you bought really early this year uh, because you were worried about, you weren't sure if you were going to get those products so um, or whatever you're getting out there um, either way. Well, I think I've got everything I need to go. I'm going to take off here and uh, get in line, but uh, for those of you who need more uh, information on this, where can they find that? Head on over to our holiday page on bbb.org. Fantastic. Well, Tiffany, maybe if I just took you shopping with me, you could tell me all the tips and tricks, right? And would that be an advantage, disadvantage? I, I don't know. I like to go in the back door. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. She, 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 she knows what she's She's probably got everything already bought. I'm, I know this person. All right, Tiffany, thank you so much for all the great tips uh, this month. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll uh, talk to you in December and uh, January and February. And you know where this is going. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You bet. Uh, Tiffany Schultz, Better Business Bureau. Check out the website. And uh, definitely uh, do your research before you head out and and have fun, too. It's supposed to be fun as well. Take a quick break. More to come. You're watching Talking Fitchburg. See on page four that the projections need to be blood. Next Thursday? Seriously? Thursday? Can't do that. Uh-uh. This is really inconvenient. I have yoga that day. I have no time for this. So. I can't do Thursday, but I can do Friday. Disasters don't plan ahead. You can. Talk to your loved ones about how you're going to be ready in an emergency. Don't wait. Communicate. Type 2 diabetes can have a big impact on your life, but how can it be prevented? Well, the first step is knowing if you have prediabetes, a serious medical condition that puts you at high risk for type 2 diabetes. One in three American adults has prediabetes, but more than 80% don't know they have it. The good news is, prediabetes can be reversed. And for many people, healthy changes in their daily routine can make a big difference. Take the one-minute risk test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Severe weather can strike anytime, anywhere, but there's a simple way to stay safe. Hey, Jim Cantori here. I stay safe in dangerous weather by planning ahead. You can stay safe too with a few easy steps. Build an inexpensive kit with supplies for your family's needs. Write down important information like phone numbers and medications. Always talk with your family and remember any pets in your planning. Be ready, be safe, start your plan today at ready.gov plan. If you love them enough to suck the snot out of their nose at 4 a.m., then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Well, welcome back into Talking Fitch. We're wrapping up the show for today. Thank you uh, to Colin from Dame by Local and Tiffany Schultz from uh, the Better Business Bureau. We'll get these interviews up online so not only can you shop small business, but you can shop Black Friday safely. That's two thumbs up from this guy. You didn't see that, but it's true. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. <laughs>